the Superman of science, and he loves to play with fire, and the things he'll do, you can do, if you so desire, to try this at home with Mr. T. Hello, and welcome back to Do Try This at Home. I'm your host, Mr. G. This is the show that takes ordinary household items like this screwdriver, this lighter, and these CDs and turns them into something truly extraordinary. Today, I'm going to be delving into the world of polymer plastics. What I've got here is a CD that's made up of polycarbonate that is a plastic. Then this plastic polycarbonate has been coated with aluminum coating. What you need to do to start is to scrape the aluminum coating from the CD until you've got a disc that looks something like this. Now a lot of your CD packages come with one blank disc at the top with, with no coating on it. That will work, whoops, excuse me, that will work just as, just as well as you scraping off a CD. Now, once the CD has been scraped off, what we're going to do today is we're going to show how these, these polymers, these polymer plastics, actually tend to want to bond together and they want to covail about between each molecule in the polymer wants to keep them together in a nice linear fashion. So, normally for instance if you blew a bubble out of bubble solution it would make a nice ball that would eject and would just float in the air. We're going to blow bubbles with the CD that we've scraped. Now again this CD is made of, of a polymer plastic known as polycarbonate. Now, what you want to do is you want to take a lighter or a candle. I'm using just a lighter, but if it gets too warm for your thumb and you're going to burn yourself, then use a candle by all means. And you want to heat an area underneath the CD. You don't want to heat it too fast. Again, this is a CD where the aluminum has been scraped off. Don't heat it too fast until it gets nice and melty. And once it starts to get pretty melty, after heating it relatively slowly, watch what we're going to do next. This is truly cool. It really is. This is really amazing. Are you ready? Watch this. Once you see it start to sag and make sort of a big bubble itself of melted plastic, this is what we do next. Are you ready? Look at that. Isn't that cool? We blew a bubble with a CD. Look at that bubble. Now you can leave the bubble on there if you want or you can detach it. It's sort of like, it's sort of like plastic wrap at this point. It's very thin and oh, it'll blow up too if it gets, oh look, well maybe not. I was going to say you might be able to pop it. Now, let's try that one more time. We're going to go again. This is so cool. Watch this. Are you ready? Let me heat the plastic up. I'll see if I get a longer one and we're going to show this then in slow motion as well. Notice how the polymer plastic doesn't want to release, it just wants to stretch. It doesn't want to break away from the actual, from the, from the cooler polymer. The liquid polymer wants to just stretch and stay there. Like chewing gum. Okay, that's getting pretty warm. It's starting to liquefy. You want it to kind of liquefy. Once it starts to liquefy, then we're going to do this. Are you ready? Here we go. This is a lot of fun. It's really a cool experiment. Okay, here we go. It's just about liquidy enough, I think. Whoa, that one was too liquidy. It made a real skinny little one. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That one was great. Look at that. I'm Mr. G and thanks for watching. I hope that you do try this at home. This is the show that takes ordinary household items like these CDs, this lighter, this screwdriver and turns them into something Here's something else that you can do at home with a CD that you've scraped that surface off of. Hold on. You're going to need a lighter. One that works. Let's light our lighter. Now, 
You want to keep the flame of the lighter fairly, not real close to the CD, and you want to heat the CD very, very carefully. Uh oh. I know why these coffee mugs were on sale. This thing was on sale for six ninety nine. It leaks. Whatever you drink out of it, the seal does not seal. That's right. This CD here made almost completely of um, of what? Ooh, might help if you kind of melt it from both sides as well. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. This is not working like it did earlier. You know? Uh oh, uh oh, black smoke. Don't want, don't want to burn that with black smoke. Okay, we're gonna try this with a different CD. That didn't work as well as I'd liked it to. It made this, how do you just see it? made this little skinny piece of crap. Should have seen it. You know? It did not work. <laughs> 